Okay, so I'm gonna be doing a video today on how um, how I break in my gloves, and um, these are the only things that I use, which is glove oil, a glove mallet, and a ball, and obviously a glove. Doesn't it doesn't have to be an expensive glove? It can be a fifty dollar glove. It can be a a five hundred dollar glove. No matter what the price is, this is how you should. Not how you should, but this is how I break in my gloves. Um, a hot, the hot water. Well, first of all, I'm gonna go with some things you should not do. Um, the hot water treatment. I'm not saying that's a don't, but I'm just saying I don't do that. You can if you want, but I don't. I cringe too much, and I can't stand water touching my glove. I don't think it's bad for your glove, but I think it's just I don't like to do it. Okay, so that's something that's okay, but I don't do. Um, some things you don't want to do. Do not. Do not. Put the ball in here and stick it under your bed. That's going to make it collapse. That's maybe okay for an outfield glove, but definitely not an infield glove. And one thing you don't... Oh, and it could be okay for a catcher's glove. But I still wouldn't recommend it. Just play, just play catch. Don't do anything that's unnatural, is what I'm trying to say. Um, even though this mallet isn't technically is not natural, it's meant to simulate the ball because that's about the same size as the ball. It just makes it a little easier and it speeds it up a little bit. And probably the biggest don't is don't put it in the oven. Just don't do it. It's dumb. It's going to make your glove. It's going to fry your glove. It's going to crack your laces. Just don't do it. There's I shouldn't have to explain it. Just don't do it. Just don't don't put your glove in the oven. Okay. Now we got that out of the way. I'm going to start with the first thing I do whenever I get the glove. And whenever I first get the glove, it's going to be really stiff. This thing was really stiff when I got it. And if it's super stiff, you can't play catch. But um, but then you want to decide if you're going to go two in the pinky or traditional. Usually I go two in the pinky, especially since this glove is 11 and a quarter. But I would probably go two in the pinky anyway. So the first thing you do when you get your glove is you're going to take, if you well, if you can't play catch, if you can play catch, then just go out and play some hard catch or go to the um, pitching machine and catch the ball. Cat, set the catch. Can't talk. Set the machine to a high speed, and just catch the ball. Um, you can steam your glove. I actually did steam my glove, so that's not a problem to me. But um, it was pretty painful. Whenever the guy um, doing it. One of the guy who was steaming it, whenever he was breaking it in, I was like, I, I was, I left, I went away, I went to look at like bats and stuff. I couldn't, I couldn't stand him beating my glove, but it will help um, a little bit, not very much, but only do that once. Don't do that too many times. And then, but whenever, if your glove is too stiff to even play catch, just take your mallet and with when your glove is on your hand just hit that hit it in the palm as hard as you can um, throw a baseball in it um, hold the glove down and hold the glove down I'm gonna, and hit it on the break point right here um, that's okay to do but for some whenever I do it you're gonna notice that's like a, a U and you're just gonna Turn that back to back in place, and then eventually your glove will get broken in. And then after, and then after it's like starting to get um, pretty loose, and you've played catch for a while, um, oil your glove. This isn't gonna help break it in, but it's gonna help it last longer, and it's gonna keep it from cracking. I would show you how to oil, but my glove does not need oiled. Maybe I could use a glove that does need oiled for a video, but 
this glove does not need oiled, and I don't really have any gloves that do need oiled. And then another thing you could do is, um, if you're just bored at home, you could use the mallet. But another thing I could do, or you could do, is just um, have the glove on your hand and just throw the ball in. And whenever you throw it in, uh, just close, keep closing it. Um, and eventually, your glove will be game ready in a, maybe a month, about a month. Um, I've had my glove for uh, a little less than a month. I've had this glove for a little less than a month, and it's game ready. Um, obviously, it's January. My season is over because I live in the Northeast, and I can't play baseball. But this thing is game ready. And it didn't even take a month. So yeah, that is how I break in my gloves. I'm not saying that is the way to break in your glove. Like, I'm not saying that's the specific way you have to break in your glove. But I am just saying that is how I break in my glove. So thanks for watching. And um, I'll leave my Instagram. Um, I'll put that up in this video and I'll also leave that in the description so thanks for watching and play baseball